I know it might be a little bit early for this, but I had to double check something. As you know, I am trying to do this uh, solar powered greenhouse thing now on 12 volt DC. Now, a few months ago, I thought I had found uh, the perfect solution to the air pump problem I was having. I'm having problems finding a 12 volt DC air pump to aerate the water. Uh, I went online on eBay. I thought I had found the perfect pump. Uh, it's a 12 volt DC. Uh, it's a wicked price. So I ordered three of them and they got here. Turns out 12 volt AC. So I had to check to make sure I wasn't th seeing things when I ordered it. And sure enough, on the description it says 12 volt DC. I get it, it's 12 volt AC. So I've been trying to figure out a solution to this problem. How can I run an air pump on 12 volt DC current? So now I have basically three of these guys. Really small efficient pumps, but they are on AC current. I want DC current. And I'm not too sure if I can even convert these or how that would work. So the other day I was filling up the air on one of my tires on my truck. And um, I was using a little compressor and then it kind of hit me that the compressor I was using was 12 volt DC. I don't know why I didn't think of the compressor thing earlier. Uh, a few friends of mine are into the mini truck and uh, low ride air suspension kind of trucks. And they use, uh, of course, they use 12 volt DC air compressors and uh, tanks. So it's an idea. Uh, again, I want to keep the, the idea for this project was to always keep it simple. And that seems like it might be a little bit inefficient or just not maybe what I was looking for. So who knows, maybe I'll go back to just running a little AC inverter. I also wanted to show you guys something in the basement. I've been running the uh, hydroponic flood table with the insulation on it now for a few days. And I've been kind of monitoring the temperature inside the flood table and outside. And I was kind of happy with the results I've seen there. So let's go check that out right now. So I installed just a little thermostat inside and uh, first off I ran it uh, without the lights on for just a few days and I noticed that the temperature in there was around 15 degrees Celsius and the temperature outside here in the basement was 17 degrees Celsius. So it's quite a bit colder um, without the lights on. But then I noticed when I turned the lights on that uh, the temperature outside would be 17, 18 degrees Celsius and the temperature inside would stay a nice 27, 28 degrees Celsius. So almost 10 degrees we gain just by adding the insulation. And that's going to keep the plants nice and warm. That's a good temperature, I think, right there to be growing some things. So that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to show you guys down here. Uh, if you have any ideas about the 12 volt DC pumps, if you have any idea where to get one or uh, maybe what I should be looking for, I'd really appreciate any advice you guys have. So I mean I did find a DC air pump, it's just an emergency backup air pump uh, that you would use for your aquarium. Uh, you would put in some D batteries or whatever and it has a little piston in it that spins. But it's really not the quality I'm looking for. It might work. Uh, it spins a little bit too fast when I connect it to the big 12-volt uh, battery. It's meant for a little bit less. Uh, so, I mean, it did work. Maybe that's another option too. But again, if you guys have any ideas, I'd love to hear it. Oh yeah, and don't think I forgot about our little seed germinating experiment. I do have the results for those. But yeah, you won't be seeing the results for those on this episode, so make sure you watch for the next one. Alright, thanks guys.